Hi all, Operations Manager Stuart Crowsham. I just wanted to touch base because I've been out of the district loop for a number of weeks and I realise there's a lot happening. Section 29 inspections, brigade and group elections, and there is never a good time to be away from the district. However, up front, we've got an amazing leadership team in District 23 at brigade, group and district level. So uh, the ship's in good, good hands. So originally deployed to a grass fire that really affected our rural community, the dairy industry in particular. And what we're left with is these two large peat fires. And one of these peat fires is like a 56, 56 hectare, seven metre deep briquette that's burning, growing continually, eating up farmland. Now that's emitting CO and that's wafting across communities. In one of those communities, the schools have closed down and the kids have been relocated to other schools. Thank heavens for school holidays. The aged care facilities closed down and people have been dispersed to other facilities around the southwest. Imagine the impact that that's having on the, uh, the families of those people, especially the elderly family. And one of the major employers, a milk factory, has closed down because the CEO is moving into their dryers. They, they make uh, powdered milk and uh, shutting the dryers down. So a huge impact on, on this community. So they tell us the only way to put the peat fires out is to wait for rain. We can't wait for the months because these communities are really hurting. So we've got to simulate rain. And what we're doing is we're diverting a water from a pipeline four kilometres, four mega day, into a dam which we're going to pump out and simulate rain using airport firefighting tenders and monitors. It's no good just filling up the, the swamp because the water will dissipate into the water table and we need to simulate the rain. So why am I there? It's because it's really important that the people who are involved in the planning continue to implement the plan or we just uh, have to start again every time a new incident controller comes in or a new deputy comes in. So I've committed to helping those communities for a period of time and, and hopefully we can get back to them back to normal. I know if the shoe was on the other foot and we wanted uh, people to come and help our communities that people around the state would flock through. So I'll keep you informed, I'll get back as soon as I can, take care of yourself and again, hugely confident in the lead, leadership team of District 23 to uh, keep the, the ship on course. Take care.